Hello, Refton Presbyterian Church. This is Pastor Chris with a special announcement. We want to let you know that this Sunday, things are changing and that things may be changing more in the future. What do we mean by that? First, as shepherds of the church, our job is to make sure we protect you both spiritually and physically when necessary. And in this case, we're making changes to address the need for physically being more safe. So what does that mean? We're going to have one service this Sunday at 11 o'clock. We're going to highly encourage everyone to use the virtual worship service that will be on Facebook Live on our Facebook page at 11 o'clock. So if you're one of those areas that are groups of people that need to stay home, we encourage you to stay home. If you've been around people who are sick, we encourage you to stay home. If you think you've been around people who are sick, we encourage you to stay home. For those who want to come and worship, things are gonna to have to be different in the name of safety. So we're gonna have one service at 11 o'clock. If you come, one of the changes will be there'll be no kids ministry or no nursery. It'll be like a family service, but there'll be no offering. There'll be no greeting. There'll be no hugs or handshakes or fist bumps or kisses. Uh, there'll be no before church or after church refreshment. This is all done to make sure we have as little physical contact with each other as possible and to keep a safe space. We'll have dispensers there to wash our hands and sanitizer as well. But again, we encourage you, if you're nervous or anything, stay home and enjoy watching the service on Facebook Live on the church's Facebook page at 11 o'clock. For everyone else, we encourage you to come to church, but remember it is going to reduce service in terms of how much we contact with one another. So use the virtual service and we anticipate we might be using it more in the coming weeks. I want to remind you of a verse as we go into this coming weeks. It comes out of the Gospel of John, chapter 10, and Jesus tells us this. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them. They follow me. I give them eternal life. They will never die. No one will steal them out of my hand. My Father who has given to me is greater than anyone. No one can steal them out of my Father's hand. I and the Father are one. What does that tell us? We have a lot of anxiety and nervousness about what's happening today and tomorrow, but here's what God tells us. We may not know what's going to happen to us today or tomorrow, but we know we are always in his hands, so we can always be sure that he is going to be caring for us no matter what. Talk to you Sunday. Bye.